This is video number seven in a, in a long series. It's the patient experience uh, series. The whole idea behind the series was to basically provide uh, for free a very um, analogous uh, deck of patient experience for, that patients have paid, many, many patients have paid $5,000 uh, to get. Um, <clears throat> basically, what we're doing is going over an intense, uh, individualized patient experience for cardiovascular uh, prevention, heart attack, stroke, dementia, um, and these items are related to insulin resistance um, and diabetes. Also, the number one causes of blindness, kidney disease, um, and several other things, if that's not enough. Now, <clears throat> um, when we were doing this, we were doing a lot of this based on the old Bale Dunneen um, uh, courses, the Bale Dunneen methods. Brad and Amy, uh, Brad Bale and Amy Dunneen did, again, yeoman's work in terms of helping people uh, and helping providers understand that um, it's not just giving a statin for cholesterol. It's a bigger deal. It's uh, it focused on a different issue, um, cardiovascular inflammation. So in this, um, this specific video, it's not very long, especially in the bale Dunin method. I cover a lot more issues on um, uh, LDL, HDL, uh, triglycerides, different uh, parts of uh, the cholesterol panel. I've got several videos out there. This is one of them. Uh, this video, uh, starts out with the basics of what are, uh, what is cholesterol? What are lipoproteins? So let's go back and look uh, basically at that. So if you fill a glass of water, uh, uh, well, have a glass, fill it with water about half full, and then add oil to it, what does it do? It forms a big blob of oil at the top. Oil and water don't mix. Your blood is over 90, 95% water. It's got proteins and cells and things like that in it. But then we'll eat a salad with salad dressing or a hamburger or anything that includes any kind of oil, of fat, oil and fat. How does that oil transfer from our stomach, our intestines, to uh, places in our body that actually burn or use this oil, our liver? Um, Once you get that oil into your bloodstream, why doesn't it form big blobs like that? We'll talk about that in just a minute, but here's the next thing. Uh, does that ever occur in uh, life? Yes, here's a couple of examples on the right side of this uh, slide. The first one is with major trauma where you have like multiple breaks of large bones. So orthopedists, when they're dealing with someone who's been in a 60 mile per hour car wreck or a motorcycle wreck, and multiple bones like this, and the patient's in the ICU, one of the major reasons that they're often in the ICU is that big fat blobs or fat emboli, embolus is like a clot or a blob in the blood, big fat blobs uh, break out of the bones and are flowing around in the blood, and they can cause heart attack, stroke, same things that they cause uh, uh, if it's a, um, a clot rather than just fat. Another place where that's happened, again, another type of, sur of uh, trauma, surgery. And here's a, a headline from a woman who had cosmetic surgery, ended up having a fat embolism and died from the fat embolism. So <clears throat> HDL, LDL, triglycerides, what do these have to do with that? So the body prevents uh, these fats forming blobs or emboli, the same way that it prevents, that it accomplishes many goals, it creates a protein. And the proteins form uh, tiny microscopic particles and they put the, uh, their, what we call uh, hydrophilic on the outside. In other words, the proteins uh, mix well with water on the outside, but they're uh, lipophilic or fatphilic or they uh, like uh, the fats or oils which are uh, on the inside. So these, um, quote, good cholesterol, bad cholesterol are different packets 
of cholesterol and fats that have been formed by proteins. Proteins are like a little packet or a purse or a, uh, a wrapper around the tiny, uh, again, microscopic particles. So here's a typical um, cholesterol test, cholesterol panel. Uh, this is out of um, CHL, Cardio uh, uh, Cleveland Heart Labs, their cardio IQ group. And as you see, this is uh, actually mine. And here's the, well, I think the date was over here. This was in late March. So total cholesterol, 171. HDL cholesterol, 50. Triglycerides, 48. Uh, LDL cholesterol, or the quote, bad cholesterol, 107. Uh, cholesterol over HDL, uh, HDLC ratio, 3.4. And non-HDL cholesterol, 121. Now, <clears throat> Um, and then it starts to get into cholesterol particle numbers. I'm not going to cover those, and I usually don't cover them with patients. Here's why. The, uh, the major thing and the first thing that you look at on a cholesterol panel is not cholesterol anyway. It's an indicator of carbohydrate metabolism. You look at triglycerides over HDL. Why? Uh, if you have insulin, too much insulin, too much of the time, it, insulin shuts down um, triglyceride burning. So you get an increase of triglycerides. If you um, have uh, too many triglycerides and, and too many problems with the blood fats, uh, HDL, which is the packet which is involved in taking those uh, fats and lipids from the periphery out to the, back to the liver to be um, metabolized. HDL then, those packets get used up. So if you have too much insulin, uh, too often you have uh, too high a triglyceride and too low of an HDL. As you can see, mine's at practically one, so I'm doing, I'm doing a good job there in terms of my insulin resistance. That's unusual for me. Most of my early life, I tended to have a uh, triglyceride over HDL. I tended to have slightly have elevated triglycerides, but uh, low HDL. Now, your typical LDL number, you'd want to have uh, 70 or below. I've been basically taking, uh, I'm 62 years old, I've had few problems with LDL cholesterol, and I'm not that worried about it. So I've been taking uh, uh, 2.5 um, Crestor uh, two and three times a week. Certainly not something that's going to cause muscle cramps and all of the uh, problems that people are afraid of with statins, but it is enough to help decrease inflammation, uh, things that we've talked about. Now, Brad and Amy, uh, I think Brad and his family has somebody who's a, um, a, great, uh, a great cartoonist, and Brad commissioned him to do some work. This is from the uh, Bale Dineen deck. And basically, he's making a good point here. He's saying, LDL is a, is a small guy, not that muscular or ugly, not that much of a killer like some of these others, but yet he gets all the attention. And again, it's a good point. Um, with FH, familial hypercholesterolemia, you do get, do get some challenges, significant challenges. I've done a lot of work with FH patients, and I've covered a lot of uh, things on FH, familial hypercholesterolemia, in the channel. Uh, the bottom line is, the vast majority of my FH patients really don't have a problem until and unless they start getting into other things, like smoking or obesity, or uh, aging and insulin resistance. So again, the human body is a, is a wondrous thing. And uh, even with problems like FH, we often can sustain significant uh, challenges there. But it's when we start piling up added challenges that the, the problems occur. That's why you see people with way high LP little a or way high uh, LDL doing fine up until their um, 40s and beyond when they start adding insulin resistance. That again is also a reason why insulin resistance is a key to, um, to prevention of heart attack and stroke as we get older. I've also covered some other things. There's a, a, a chem chemical slash supplement that was discovered recently and some information came out about it. I believe it was in Nature Magazine. Uh, cyclodextrin. I think it's way too early for prime time for cyclodextrin. Um, 
And many of us have concerns about you know, anything new that you start putting in your body. But again, just wanted to make a reminder that there's, you know, this part of the, of the world, this part of science is changing and continues to develop as well. Here are the lipid tests and the uh, values that you have concern with in these lipid tests. Triglycerides, you clearly want below 150, but you also want below 100. HDL, you want above 40. Uh, LDL, you'd like to have below 100, and some would say below 70. But once you start getting significantly below 70s in the 60s and 50s, I start getting nervous on the other end of that. LP little a, typically you want below 30. Um, if you use 30 as a cut point, uh, up to 40% of the population has an LP little a uh, higher than that. Um, again, I've done tons of work with patients from that French uh, Canadian gene pool that has LP little a values uh, 300, 400. And we did a, a video recently on a fellow named Joe Riley who uh, covered and said um, in the past he'd had uh, numbers up o over a thousand. I've never seen that before. We got a little bit deeper into Joe's case, so I would refer you to that video. Uh, what are they? Remember HDL is known as the good cholesterol. It's high density. That's what the H stands for. In fact, HDL is high-density lipoprotein. LDL is known as the bad cholesterol, low-density lipoprotein. What's SDLDL? Those are the big, those are the really bad guys, small, dense LDL. They're more likely to slip through the endothelium and form plaque between the endothelium and, uh, or intima and media layer of the artery. Lipoprotein just means lipo or fat or oil uh, and protein, a protein that's made specifically by the body to form um, packets for, to carry uh, fat. Because of the original problem I talked about, the fact that oil and water don't mix. ApoA, ApoB, and apolipoprotein, these are the most protective uh, ApoA and most dangerous B particles. They're actually just the protein part. Apolipoprotein just means the protein part of that particle. ApoA is for uh, HDL, ApoB is for LDL and some of the other, quote, bad cholesterol particles. ApoE is a different one. It's a different family. ApoE4, you remember, has been linked with Alzheimer's and early heart attack and stroke. Um, LP little a is the higher risk version of uh, lipoprotein, which we've already covered. And the triglyceride over HDL um, is uh, the ratio that we talked about indicating uh, the health of your ability to uh, metabolize carbs. Um, again, quick video, fairly uh, uh, dense in terms of information. And if you've made it this far, thank you very much for your attention. If you hit the uh, like button, and for sure if you subscribe or share, the algorithm reads that as a strong message that humans think this is interesting and important information. And the algorithm can share it more than any of us humans. Um, <clears throat> speaking of uh, sharing, uh, the, one of the best ways of sharing is on social media. We've got active Facebook, Instagram, and uh, LinkedIn uh, activities going on right now. We've recently started up things in uh, Pinterest and uh, Twitter, so we'd love to see you there. Check us out. Finally, um, <clears throat> uh, with over 500 videos, a lot of people are saying, I can't find this video or that video. Our new social media uh, manager, Kim Hermosa, is starting to work on ways to help with that. So join the community. Uh, you can click on the links below and um, <clears throat> you can get a little bit better uh, access. Thank you again for your interest.